Hey guys, sometimes we don't see a way out. And when we're desperate, we do desperate things. These two friends were sitting in a restaurant eating. This young girl comes in with a baby, one day old. The hair is wet, the, the baby's hair is wet, still from the amniotic fluid. The blanket is wet. That is how everybody knew the child was just born. She runs in. She sees a young woman eating with her friend. She puts the baby in her arms and runs back out. And I'm saying, how desperate could she have been? Now, the woman that she left the baby with said that she looked around 14, very young. So I'm wondering even if her parents knew about it, because sometimes these young girls get pregnant. They wear all these baggy clothes. And you're thinking, okay, they don't want to show their shape because they're wearing all these baggy clothes. And sometimes that's not it. Sometimes they're hiding a pregnancy. So I'm telling you, mothers and fathers out there, if your young child start wearing ba baggy clothes and they're not used to wearing it, they have not been wearing it in the past. All of a sudden, they start wearing baggy clothes. Watch them closely. Watch for the morning sickness. Watch if they're feeling nauseous when they eat. Watch, if, watch them if they're refusing the foods. Because when they start refusing foods, that, and they're going to throw up for morning sickness because of morning sickness. A lot of times, that's when they start refusing food. And you need a sit-down talk with your young you know, your young girl at that point. Ask them point blank if they're pregnant. You say, listen, you haven't been wearing baggy clothes. All of a sudden you're wearing baggy clothes. Are you pregnant? I mean, you don't want your, your, your little girl to get pregnant at 14, but sometimes it happens. And you got to have that conversation. Although you talk to them in the past not to get pregnant at an early age, sometimes it just takes one time. And you got to have that conversation. So this young girl drops this baby off. She runs out. So the, it was a fast food place. These friends were just sitting to have lunch. They just wanted to have lunch. And this happened. So the cops were called. Cops comes in. And they're, um, you know, they, they, they put on the oxygen on the baby because the child was having labored breathing. But a cute little girl. And you wonder, for someone to do something like that, how desperate they must have been. But what I'm thankful for is that she left the baby in the arms of a stranger in opposed to putting the child in a garbage can. Because oftentimes we hear about young girls who cannot afford to take their, care of themselves, who do not want their parents to know they were pregnant, getting rid of their babies, throwing them in trash cans and putting them in garbage cans. How many times have we heard those stories? So I was thankful that she did not go this, that route because that baby was alive and well. I know there was a case back in December. I was reading about it. This happened out in uh, New Mexico where this woman pulled up, young woman, pulled up, she throws the baby in, in the garbage, because, you know, in the morning, the garbage company comes very early to pick up the garbage. So she pulls in the back of this, um, I think it was a pet store, like 5 o'clock, 4.30, 5 in the morning, she pulls up in, in, in the, um, you know, the, what do you call it, this big uh, restaurant garbage that the, the sanitation workers, you know, just haul and dump and dump on their trucks and put back. She throws the baby in there. She didn't lay the baby gently. She throws the bag. So that child could have had, could have had a broken neck, broken bones. In any event, she pulls off. So the restaurant, not a restaurant. So the pet store manager looked as she pulled up, he was looking on his um, his camera, want, wanting to know who was pulling up so early in the morning. He saw the young lady gets out of the car, throws the garbage bag in the dumpster, 
and pulls off. So now he got curious. He said he wondered what in the world is she throwing in his garbage dump, garbage, garbage container. He goes out there. He retrieves the black bag, opened it up, and found it was a baby moving around. Calls the authorities. Of course, they track. You know, they can look at the camera and track when the car came out and backed that car camera up to catch a license plate, the color of the vehicle, make a model. And if they got a glimpse of the passenger, all those things they were working on and they were able to track down that young lady. She's sitting in jail today. So I'm glad this little 14 year old did not go that route because she could have, because a lot of babies get killed and we are not aware of the deaths because they get thrown in garbage containers and the garbage company comes early in the morning and take the garbage to the garbage dump and incinerate some of the garbage. So we never know how many babies get killed this way. But in any event, the baby was on her way to the hospital. She was breathing. She cried. A couple of times, which was good because, you know, crying for a newborn is essential. It opens up the lungs and it makes them breathe better to clear the airway of all the mucus and all the amniotic fluid and anything else that's in there that needs clearing. So this newborn was just delivered, didn't get suction because if the baby was delivered in a hospital, they would suction her out good to make sure all that mucus and all that you know, every everything is out of the system. So, luckily, that baby cried. A good, healthy cry. Because when she was dropped off and placed in the hands of this strange woman, she wasn't crying at all. She was just having labored breathing. Trying to breathe on her own. But when she cried... And a little bit of oxygen was put on her. And they put oxygen on her. And she was fighting to just get the squirming to get it from around her face. That's how much she is a fighter. She was able to wiggle her head away from that oxygen because she didn't want the oxygen. Because I guess she was, um, maybe it was too much for her, you know. Maybe it was too much for her. But in any event, she wiggled it off and then the woman reapplied it. And then every now and again, she would take it away and reapply it. Um, but the cops became involved. They were questioning the woman, you know, if she can ID the young woman that dropped off the baby and, you know, and that's where they stand. But I'm telling you guys, we're living in a time in a day and an age where we see all kinds of stuff. Unfortunately, this is not the first case nor will it be the last case. I've heard every year I hear about these cases. Every single year. But I'm thankful that she did not kill the baby by throwing it in the trash. Or doing something, some type of other harm to the baby. I'm glad she had a good judgment to give the baby uh, to a stranger safely. You know? She placed that baby in the arms of this woman and ran back out of the um, the restaurant, the fast, fast food restaurant. Anyway, guys, that is, uh, I want you guys to, anyway, guys, I want you guys to listen to the audio of what happened. Here we go. And the woman runs off. Y'all believe this? My heart, my heart, my heart. Uh, oh my god. Okay, the ambulance on their way. Yes. Heart rate is good, but they could use some oxygen. He's kind of like struggling. I'm not going to really Can y'all believe this? Oh my god. So this baby was just handed off to my friend as we're having lunch. My lady. And. The lady leaves the baby and runs off. Okay. And this baby is about a day old. No, she's still alive. She can use some oxygen when she's alive. Can y'all believe this? 
Oh my god. Y'all <laughs> Okay, guys, so that went on for another 15 to 20 minutes, but mostly the same thing. Um, the baby is fine. The baby cried a couple of times. The cops are on the scene. They are about to transfer that baby to the hospital for better care. And I guess they're going to try to track the mother down, and it shouldn't be hard because outside these restaurants, most of these restaurants have a camera, especially the fast food places. They have cameras outside. So all they got to do is look at the footage, see what kind of car she came out of. If she did come out of a car, maybe she walked. They can follow the direction, get a description from folks on the street in different shops, etc. And I'm sure they're going to be able to track her down. Uh but at least the baby is okay. God had a hand in this one. Let me tell you, because she got to put that kid in a garbage can. We hear about those cases all the time. Uh, so God bless this infant YouTubers. Drop your comments. Tell me about any stories that are similar that you know about, whether in your family, outside of your family, associates, acquaintances. Maybe you got some stories to tell about what you have encountered. I'm over and out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and to this video. Thank you for watching.